Hello everybody, so here I am again with another diamond painting pen. This time I'm making it out of polymer clay. Um, for yo, those of you who have came to my live the other day or have been watching my community tab, I have gotten into polymer clay. So right here I am just rolling it out so I can flatten it in order to start making my pen. And I made this mix myself. I was quite proud of myself. It was the very first mix that I made. And I made it before I moved, so I held on to it because I knew that I wanted to make my polymer clay pen with it for my diamond painting. So I um, flattened it out. And this is the pen that usually comes in the diamond paintings. So I'm just gonna take both ends off of it so I can get it ready to cover with the clay. I'm just flattening it out a little bit more so it stretches to give me a little bit more real estate for the pen. So I'm laying my pen down and making sure it um, is kind of centered and cutting out um, the strip so that it will be straight and that it will meet when I roll it. You'll see in a minute. So I'm rolling it up here and trying to be careful, rolling it up so it can be straight, trying to make sure there's no dents in the clay. And once I got it where I want it, I will cut it again so that I can um, join both the ends together. And I'm just smoothing it out after I've joined the ends together and rolling it just to make sure it's really like smooth and no dents even though there were a couple of dents in it but I didn't mind I wanted it to have a little bit of sparkle so I added some glitter some chunky glitter and this is actually face glitter but glitter is glitter <laughs> and I rolled it over so that it would stick to the clay to give me a little sparkle on my pen. I'm sorry for the blurriness. I actually grabbed the wrong camera to do this and I didn't even realize it until I was halfway done filming. But I'm cutting the ends off just to make them flush to the pen and so that I can round it together so it'll be really smooth on the end where the attachment goes. And the same with the other end and rolling it out just to make sure it is flush and taking off any unwanted um, clay that may be inside the hole or around the outside of it just smoothing it out making sure it is nice and smooth And one last roll and I am preheating the oven the oven needs to be at 275 and it needs to cook for 15 minutes I'm putting a little dome tint over it now that I've baked a couple of times I know how not to burn my clay so I domed it so it wouldn't burn and I gave it the 15 minutes on the old clock and there's the scrap clay that I'm going to keep and we are done. It's very hot at this point. I'm gonna let it cool down. And while it cools down, let me show you these beautiful beads I made. I was so proud of myself. I am going to put them on my Etsy shop. This is min wax, just to bring shine to the pen. Now that it's cooled off, and I'm just using one of my nail brushes, actually, I'm just using that to brush. And as I brush, you will see it come to a nice little shine on the pen. And because of the camera I use, you probably can't see it well, but I do have a shot later on that shows how 
nicely shined up this pen was. I'm picking it up because, you know, I couldn't get all the way around the pen with it laying down. So I picked it up and continued to shine it up. And there it is, sitting there drying. And it is nice and shiny and beautiful. And I'm putting the ends back on the diamond painting pen. And making sure they're nice and tight. And that is my polymer clay diamond painting pen. I'm so happy with this pen. It came out beautifully. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. Love ya. Bye-bye.